Okay, this is FirstCoast.tv. We find ourselves here with Kurt Tucker of First Coast Opera. You guys got plans. You guys have plans. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what are you guys uh, putting together? Well, we've got a production of Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro, Le Nozze di Figaro, that we'll be performing on January 5th and 6th, and so we are just into the rehearsal process, and we've brought a, a, a really fantastic cast together. It's a big cast, The Marriage of Figaro, a lot of principal roles, and we've got singers from several states, as well as Florida and all throughout the South, uh, coming together, and boy, they're fantastic. Uh, we're having a lot of fun in rehearsal. All right, now what are the dates for this? great event. We've got two performances, Saturday, January 5th at 7.30 p.m., and then a matinee Sunday, January 6th at 2 p.m., okay. all at Lewis Auditorium of Flagler College. All right, yeah, that was my next question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your venue? That's a large venue. It is. It seats, it seats about 800. Uh, we seat a few less than that uh, for when we do a full production, but uh, lots of seats, but it's a, it's a great venue. The acoustics are good. The, the Sight lines are good, and um, I think uh, everyone who comes will really enjoy this production. Now, if you had to tell me the story of Figaro in a nutshell, what would it be? Uh, it'd have to be a really big nut in order, <laughs> in order to fit, 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 it in, fit it in a nutshell. Um, I guess the uh, upside, it's the marriage of Figaro. So Figaro is getting married to his fiancée, Susanna. The two of them work for the Count and the Countess. and. Um, Essentially, it's about Susanna, uh, uh, it's about uh, Figaro and his employer, the Count, both had interest in Susanna. And so the Count's trying to figure out how he can um, express his interest in Susanna, and Figaro's trying to figure out how to make sure the Count doesn't because he's going to marry her. And so there's all this sort of uh, mm -hmm. sexual intrigue, and all within the context of the 18th century in a nice period piece. Okay, and I guess by the title, Figaro gets the wood girl at the end. Uh, I think so. You know, this is comedy. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, Kurt's definition of uh, opera comedy means nobody dies, mm -hmm. uh, as it like some of those operas. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of comedy. There's a little serious seriousness along the way there's a lot of really beautiful music but there's certainly many comic moments uh, and uh, mistaken identities mm -hmm. and trying to fool the other person yeah. and so it's a lot yeah. to follow it's fun and, uh, and for those who think this is Verdi or Puccini no this is this is Mozart that's why that music is just blow your socks off yeah, mm -hmm. it's really it's really infectious. It's it's high energy. It's beautiful. It's really skillfully done, and um, it's 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 truly my favorite opera. So, as a man behind the project, my last question would be: What is the most challenging thing of this opera? Oh gosh, okay. what is the most challenging thing of the opera? Um, you know, there's there's a lot of people. There's a lot of characters. Uh, the story is a little complicated, so it's staging it so that it's clearly understood. Now we'll sing in Italian, uh, but we'll project English supertitles, so there's there's no problem, you know, following the action and following what's going on. Um, it's uh, it's got one musical hit after another, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of it. So mm -hmm. you know, we've our rehearsal process. It's going to take us about three weeks to put this whole thing together, and that's with a lot of really experienced professional folks. Uh, um, that came very well prepared, uh, but it'll still take that amount of time to put it all together. And of course, we'll have scenery and costumes and hair and makeup. And so, like with all the operas, it's just a lot of elements to coordinate. And ultimately, you've got to get every element to come together in the right place at the right time so that we can perform it uh, January 5th and 6th. I thank you so much for this time. I know you're busy with this rehearsal. It's very, the choreography and everything else you were talking about, it's, it's very difficult to every little part fit in so you have the complete picture so uh, break a leg and uh, keep bringing what you're bringing because it's it's it just brings our city to a whole new level my friend well, thank you thank you very much for having me uh -huh.